Hello, if you are embracing or trying to make the business case for adopting digital technologies in construction, then this video is going to really help you. We have got the top three benefits of digital takeoff. So today we are joined by Tom Young from a company called Glodon. Thanks for being with us today, Tom. You're welcome. Just to give you a bit of background, Glodon are the largest construction technology company in mainland China, and they develop a program called Cubicost, which is a market-leading digital takeoff software. Um, so there's probably literally nobody better in the world to talk to about this subject area than, than Tom, and we're very lucky to have him with us today. Um, I suppose before we get into the benefits, a bit of background. People hear the phrase digital takeoff, it sounds kind of futuristic and space age. What do we mean by digital takeoff and is it as exciting as it sounds? So digital takeoff is using software like Cubicost to obtain quantities from design information much more quickly in an automated fashion and to then link that to rates to produce a cost plan really, really quickly. Going back to traditional methods, um, obviously doing things by hand, it's much more disjointed, it's much slower, and with digital construction, we're really trying to move away from that now. Yeah, absolutely. I think when you say design information, it's worth pointing out for people that that design information can be 2D, it can be 3D, or increasingly it can take the form of building information models. And that last bit I just described there is what's known as 5D BIM, or the fifth dimension of building information modeling, which uh, is far too complicated for this video. But there is another video on our B1M YouTube channel explaining uh, 5D BIM and what that process means. So I suppose with the definition nailed down, let's have a look at the top benefits of digital takeoff. So our first benefit is improved speed because digital takeoff enables quantities to be measured faster. Absolutely, so traditional methods of measurement and producing a cost plan is obviously quite a lengthy process. Using digital tools to produce quantities much more quickly, access to the right cost data to produce cost plans more quickly reduces that design iteration process. So I suppose in a more traditional setting where the design, uh, design team would issue design information to the cost team, two or three weeks would go by while the cost team developed their estimate or their cost plan uh, before feeding that back into the design team to sort of you know, re-evaluate and reconsider where the, where the design is at potentially. Whereas with digital tools, that process has been brought down to two or three days or even just two or three hours in, in some instances. I think as well, the big thing for me is that digital tools can sometimes be presented as a bit of a silver bullet, but actually it's just as important to get your design information right in a digital sense as it is in a more traditional setting, because uh, if you have poor information going into the process, you're gonna get poor results out at the end of the day. So our second benefit is greater accuracy. Digital takeoff is inherently more accurate, and that can reduce the discrepancies between different measures by different members of the project team. Yes, yeah, so good information produces great automation. So if we can get it right at the start and agree those principles, then we have a much more streamlined process for, um, for, for, for digital cost collaboration. Yeah, I think that's a really powerful point. I think that's, that's something that's more important in a digital space than in a more traditional setting. Um, you know, agreeing with the design team how 2D and 3D information is going to be uh, structured and authored from the outset is really, really important because in a traditional setting, uh, an experienced estimator or QS or cost manager can do a takeoff from the drawings based on what they see, whereas a computer will measure what it sees. So making sure that stuff has been authored and represented in 2D and 3D in the right way and that corners haven't been cut in certain areas is absolutely critical because uh, if you get that right, you can then unlock the efficiencies of digital takeoff down the road. Our third benefit, and my personal favourite, is team integration. So digital takeoff actually enables cost managers, estimators and QSs to become better integrated into project teams. And I think that's really important because there is a bit of a misconception out there that somehow these digital tools uh, enable you to press a button and instantly get a magical, fantastic estimate cost plan that's 100% that's right. Um, and in that kind of environment, when people hear those sort of things, they can feel their jobs are under threat, that they're going to be kind of replaced in some way. But Actually, that really isn't the case. Digital tools change the cost manager estimating QS role uh, and really enable it to have more value. Yeah, you're right. So as a QS myself, I would want to be spending much more time looking at the data and adding value as a professional and much less time fetching that data. If uh, the, the, the modern QS has uh, this, this living, breathing cost document, they become much more integral to the team, much more um, collaborative, uh, much more consultative and they can just get involved more often and, and not be uh, kind of shut away as yeah, much. Yeah, I was about to say, so we're kind of going away from that concept of the cost manager or the QS estimator coming to 
one meeting a month or being sort of down the corridor somewhere, they're really at the project team table. They're providing what feels like the equivalent of almost real-time updates on cost information and they're adding value. They're, they're steering the project and the direction it's going in uh, and the direction the design is taking right from the outset. Yeah, for me, that's the, that's the definition of the new role. And I think the, you know, the digital tools freeing up cost managers' time, as you said, that time will be better spent adding value rather than on painstaking manual takeoffs. Just before we go, we'd like to make a wider point. I think quite aside from the benefits we've spoken about today, there are some people who will see uh, greater accuracy, greater transparency, and reducing ambiguity in the project costing process as something of a disadvantage, something of a, a threat to some of those opportunities that were, that were there in, in uh, project development in the past. Opportunities that ultimately probably led to a bit of distrust in the construction industry uh, and led to poor collaborative working amongst, amongst project teams. Um, and while, yes, that is true, digital tools are eating away at those opportunities, on the flip side, they are making you a lot more efficient. So you can, in theory, do more work with the same team, uh, increasing your revenue and increasing your profit. Yeah, you're right. And, and on profit, it's much more of an, an elusive thing. And, uh, and really, construction companies have to act like tech, tech companies now. Uh, we, we, we use these tools for um, return on investment, but also we use them because they're simply more compelling, more fun, and, and for me that, that, that aspect of fun is, is if I go home and I tell my children what, I'm gonna, what, what I've done that day, I want to tell them that I've worked in a, a collaborative 3D model environment rather than uh, highlighting PDFs just simply because it is more compelling and you have to trust in that process and, and, and if everyone in the company um, has that, uh, that kind of lift from, from, from the tools then the company is more profitable. We've kind of got used to confrontation as part of the culture in construction but actually if we were able to, you know, not just with digital takeoff but with all the digital tools that are available, go home having worked in a more collaborative, positive environment, that's what's, you know, what's not to like about that. So thank you so much for being with us today, Tom. We, we really appreciate it. You're welcome. And on behalf of myself and Globe, thank you. Um, don't forget, guys, if you have any questions or queries, you can pop them in the comments below and Tom and I will get back to you. Uh, otherwise, if you enjoyed this and you'd like to get more from our platform, you can subscribe free to the B1M.